Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers and I'm looking at a book uh, from Kogan Page which is about a very important subject. It, this book is called Power Lines by Steve Cohn. He's the author of various very, very well-known books in this particular field. It's subtitled Words That Sell uh, Brands, Grip Fans and Sometimes Change History. This is the book, just over 200 pages long, quite a lot of pictures and things in it, various points. Um, it's a very interesting book, so let's have a little look at it. I've done a review on Flickr, which is there, and what I've titled this book, I've written it with my wife Elizabeth, and the title we've given this is Words Well Chosen, and that's where it appears on the various internet websites. It's one fascinating book. Power lines, says author Steve Cohn, are words well chosen with the power to awe, inspire, motivate, alienate, subjugate, even alter something as significant as the course of history. Bold words here. They can even change the buying habits of consumers, he adds, indicating that this little book here uh, is about marketing and the selling power, not of words in general, but specifically of words well chosen, hence the title, so apt and opposite that they deliver an impact more powerful than mere slogans and taglines. Well, let's have examples, I hear you say. The author clearly has his favourites uh, richly and illustri illustratively sprinkled throughout the text, as I've indicated, especially towards the end. For instance, a diamond is forever, come to Marlborough country, and so forth. I personally have my own favourites, as does everybody. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream is one, JFK's Think what, Not What Your Country Can Do For You, But What You Can Do For Your Country is another. Blood, Sweat, Toil and Tears and Their Finest Hour are obviously from the prolific pen of Sir Winston Churchill, who must be up there with Shakespeare as the finest power liner in history. Though of course he was lucky in that we've got modern ways of expressing uh, the message these days. As for the famous De Beers ads, I think they slightly missed the boat. They could have used Diamonds Are Forever, which possibly because it expresses the same thought in the plural, is curiously more compelling. It certainly delivered impressive audiences and impressive amounts of box office cash to the collective James Bond enterprise. I'm not mentioning Shirley Bassey here. Which goes to show the power of a power line over a mere tagline. Yes, America can attributed to George Bush, just when one isn't specified, falls under the author's general category of putting America to sleep. What a snore, he says. Slogan it may be, but it's not a power line like Obama's yes we can. There is something about the pronoun we, juxtaposed with yes, which is involving, memorable and succinct. If you're in advertising or journalism, obviously the written word, I'm an advocate of the spoken word, you'll know the pronoun you is even better. The book's 2008 publication date is a little late for the amiable author to have mined the seam of power lines emanating from the Obama camp. But all I'd say to Steve Cohn is, is watch out because Obama's speeches since have been electrifying. While trawling through history for power line delivering politicians, poets, military strategists and athlete marketing men, Cohn cites amusingly bad power lines as well as good ones. Examples, for instance, the RBS make it happen tagline means, as the author says, absolutely nothing. Honda's The Power of Dreams also gets short shrift. Maybe their latest models put you in a dreamlike state, sneers the author. <laughs> Not a good thing if you're taking a curve at 45 miles an hour. So, succinctness 
Relevance and meaning are surely components of a great power line, although coming up with one is no easy task, as any copywriter can tell you. Rule number one in our book would be cut out the verbiage and the pretentiousness. Less is more, says Steve Cohn. Great lines are poetry in motion. Oh well, we have to have that, I suppose. Every word counts, and the whole line must mean something special. So special, it has to be remembered. We could also add that great power lines must stand out from the information overload, which burdens everyday life. And we agree with the author's observation that, sadly, the art of creating power lines is largely forgotten in today's advertising world. Obviously the internet's got something to, to do with this. Another pungent quote from this entertaining Bloomberg Kogan Page publication, from the, basically from the Bloomberg publishing house of course, is that so far the 20th century marketers haven't created much in the way of lines that make us think, smile or are easy to remember. Perhaps this century needs a good tagline. Of course, the good news is that there is splen still plenty of time. There certainly is, and this book shows all the Steve Cohn words are well chosen. Thanks very much, Steve. Bye-bye for now.